Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swimming Bird, and welcome back for some more Minecraft. We are in version 1.6.2, which was just released today, and uh, it had a ton of bug fixes in it, fixing a lot of issues that uh, that came out with 1.6.1, but unfortunately there's still a few issues, and that's what I'm going to address today. Uh, I did a previous video on the pre-release of 1.6.2, it's the same exact version of the game that we got today, but uh, I, I covered all the cool bug fixes in that, so if you want to go check that out. But uh, I wanted to talk about a few of the things. Now, a big thing people have been complaining about is boats. Uh, you used to be able to control boats with WASD, and you can still kind of like push forward with W, that's how you have to move, but you need to steer it kind of like you would the horse. It's, it's almost like a more limited version of the horse. It's a water horse. And uh, it's the big thing that people complain about though, is if you're going pretty quick, you can't actually slow down to stop at the shore. You have to kind of let go and just let it gently go into shore. And sometimes it breaks, like so. <laughs> so you just, you're gonna have to, when at least unless they change things, basically when you get close to shore, you're gonna have to let go and just let it go. One of the good things, actually this isn't good, is that when you're trying to aim a bow and you're riding on a boat, it's, it's completely different from horses because the horse will turn with it, but that doesn't mean that you have to go forward. You can push different, you know, directions. But because the boat steers with your look, you know, wherever you're looking, it can kind of screw up where you're aiming your arrows. So it's it's a little different. It's not horrible. Some things about it are good, but I don't know. People are just wishing they would go back to the old version of the boat. Now the other thing, uh, this is a big issue because it's been causing a ton of lag on single player and and multiplayer, especially are zombies. Now because they can spot you from 40 blocks away instead of the normal 16 of most mobs and uh, when they get hurt they spawn more uh, new zombies uh, depending on how good their armor and stuff is and weapons they'll, they have a higher chance of spawning more zombie reinforcements. Basically you're gonna see a lot of zombies and they're all gonna swarm for you. So I'm gonna set up a little thing here to show you but there is a, a little glitch that uh, the zombies themselves are kind of causing a lot of lag but there's also something that people have been noticing that's a little strange, and I'm gonna throw a bunch of zombies down. Oh, it's not exactly... I did day, didn't I? Time set night. Sorry, guys. It's alright. It's alright. Stop burning. Uh, you also see the little baby zombie here, uh, because the baby... Oh, there. Man. He just <laughs> ran off the cliff. Uh, <laughs> you gotta watch those little ones. They'll just run off. Uh, so the baby zombies have a random chance of spawning. I've already actually seen one spawn in the wild, so the same goes for... Uh, zombie pigmen and baby zombie pigmen. So let's make sure I got a good gr group of zombies going here. They're all groaning. And then I'm going to head over here and I'm going to get far enough away where they can still see me and then I'm going to quickly stack up to show you this. So let's go into survival. I want to be able to see that the zombies see me. So go into survival and they should see me pretty soon here. I can also shoot an arrow into them and that'll get their attention. There they go. Because when you hit one with an arrow it alerts all of them. So I'm going to try to stack up really quick here, and you might notice, this doesn't always happen, the baby zombie's going pretty good. They'll start walking a bit slower, and then when I jump down, they kind of speed up. Oh, it doesn't look like they're doing it too much. I'm going to try again by going down here. Uh, it's basically a glitch where the zombies kind of lag out, and uh, they're, they're still following you, but if you're like stacked up away from them, you can, uh, can kind of have a little safe haven. Now these creepers and spiders are going to come after me, and the zombies start to walk really slow. It looks like they're doing it right now, actually. Let me kill this creeper, and then I'll jump down, and we should see the zombies actually uh, go a lot faster. Get out of here, spider. Bam, 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 bam. Die. You're messing up my zombie experiment. Okay, so they're walking really slow, as you can see, but if I jump down, there they go. They all run really quick. It's a, It seems like a weird lag issue where they don't really update how far they are uh, until you hit the ground which is a little odd. You can use that to your advantage though. You're gonna wanna be off the ground if you're fighting a ton of zombies like this anyways. But if you manage to stack up, they will a lot of the time slow down like you saw that. Uh, but just in general, it, I don't know if it's the amount of zombies or just how they work now. They seem to cause a lot of lag. And what I was mentioning is that, uh, oh, this is a skeleton actually. I thought it was the zombie until he turned around. He's a, he's a post zombie, he's a skeleton. But yeah, anything that's wearing armor, has enchanted gear, anything like that, they're more likely to spawn zombie reinforcements. Uh, only the zombie ones, I mean. That skeleton wouldn't have spawned any reinforcements. But anyways, uh, that's a few of the bugs that still exist. So I'm, I'm going to guess that we might get a 
potato. I got another potato. I'm going to guess we might get a 1.6.3 to fix some of these issues. The boat will probably stay the same, I'm guessing. It's just something we'll have to get used to. But the zombie lag is supposedly horrible on multiplayer. I can get a little bit of lag even on single player, and you know that's bad if, if that happens because, you know, single player shouldn't be that intensive for you. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. The other thing I was going to say, if you, if you uh, haven't seen, I did a video on resource packs. And uh, go check that out if you're interested in how to make a resource pack or what exactly resource packs are. I, I have a lot of custom sound effects and music in them. I'm not close enough to the village here, but I could go t talk to one of my villager guys and you can hear a little glimpse of that. But I have a little tutorial on how to make your own resource pack, so you can check that out. There's a lot of new stuff in 1.6, uh, so uh, trying to make sure I slowly cover all of it. Oh, oh no, it looks like the zombies got here. Oh, you guys are... Okay, this isn't a laughing matter, guys. The zombies are going to kill you. And there they go. Alright. <laughs> so, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I didn't even put any armor on. Leave a like if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time for more Minecraft. Go have fun in 1, 6, 2. You little. Ow. You little.